In the heart, we have two sets of valves. One set is called the AV valves, or atrioventricular valves. And these are valves that are located in between the atria and the ventricle. On the right side of the heart, we have a right AV valve, otherwise known as a tricuspid valve. And I'm gonna take this image and I'm gonna flat color the tricuspid valve so that we can see it more clearly. So here's our tricuspid valve. Um, it has three cusps as part of its valve, and it's anchored to the papillary muscles in the ventricle by these strings called chordae tendinae. And so these are collagen strings, and they're basically going to anchor the cusp of the valve to the papillary muscles. This is important because when the ventricles contract, the papillary muscles themselves contract, and they're going to hold the chordae tendinae taut to prevent the cusp or the flaps of the valve from everting into the atria under the pressure that the ventricles create. We see the same setup on the left side of the heart with the left AV valve, otherwise known as the mitral valve or bicuspid valve. It also has chordae tendinae, which I will color so that we can see them, and they are also anchored to papillary muscles in the left ventricle. Our second set of valves are the semilunar valves. And so these are valves that are going to be found between the ventricles and the vessels that are leaving each ventricle. We have two semilunar valves. They act as a pair, and they are called the pulmonary semilunar valve that's located between the right ventricle and the pulmonary trunk. And then we have the aortic semilunar valve. And this is going to be located between the left ventricle and the aorta that's leaving the left ventricle. Okay, so let's take a look. I can use my clipping tool and I can cut across the top part of the heart. We can turn it so that we can look down into these vessels. So what we see, and I'll circle these vessels, here's our pulmonary trunk. It's gonna be circled in blue. And then this vessel right here is the aorta, looking at it from the top. And what we can see as we look down into these vessels are valves that are located within the vessel. So the pulmonary valve is going to be located in the pulmonary trunk between the pulmonary trunk and the right ventricle. And then the aortic valve is going to be located in the aorta between the um, aorta and the left ventricle. Okay. One of the things to notice about these valves is that they do not have chordae tendinae. And this is really important. So Atrioventricular valves do have chordae tendinae, semilunar valves do not.